Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and here's your TIP daily for January 4th, 2013. Okay, so around the holidays, I'm sure you know that there are a ton of awesome deals to pick up all of your favorite electronics and everything else you couldn't really afford during the rest of the year. Um, in the spirit of that, Walmart offered iPhones for just $150 and uh, other companies weren't too pleased about it. Specifically, Best Buy claims that the company lost $65,000 when Walmart's deal went live on Facebook because Best Buy had to drop their iPhone price to meet Walmart's to stay competitive. Best Buy claimed that Walmart didn't actually have enough stock to fulfill this deal, so uh, Best Buy had to lower its price to stay competitive with a deal that wasn't really a deal because it couldn't happen at Walmart. Uh, Walmart basically just responded with, uh, that's not true, we had enough stock, we've been working with Apple, blah blah blah. Uh, very strange. Okay, moving on, Investors Business Daily is adding to the iRadio rumor by stating that Apple is working on a streaming radio service that will be integrated into the iTunes iOS application shortly. The main reason why Apple hasn't already created some sort of Pandora or Spotify-like service is that the company has to convince record labels and stuff that it is a good idea, and while that has been tough in the past, uh, consumer trends and stuff are really starting to lean towards the uh, online streaming radio kind of thing. Uh, so according to these guys, Apple will release some sort of Pandora-like radio service through iTunes. Now this would definitely be cool, but honestly with Pandora and Spotify out there, I don't really know how much better you can get. The only real advantages I can see from an Apple-made radio service would be uh, one, it would be built right into your phone, so you wouldn't have to download it or have a separate account or anything, which would be nice. And also, Apple does have access to a lot of content like uh, Rolling Stones or the Beatles or ACDC that things like Spotify don't currently have. So if the company was able to negotiate using those songs in its radio service, that would definitely be a huge step in the right direction. And finally, there are two major Steve Jobs movies in the works right now, I'm sure you know. There's Lowercase J, Uppercase Obs, to spell some sort of weird looking jobs, which is a movie Ashton Kutcher starred in, it premiered at Sundance. Uh, and then there's the other one penned by Aaron Sorkin, which is yet to uh, sort of get into gear because he's still writing it. Um, but the Ashton Kutcher one is real, it's a finished movie, it premiered at Sundance, and now, thanks to a distribution deal, uh, it is going to hit theaters in the U.S. in April of 2013. So we've been hearing a lot about this, we've been writing about these movies forever, so it's definitely nice that one of them at least has an official sort of semi-release date. Okay, well that's all the big news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, what features would Apple have to put into its iRadio service to sway you from Pandora or Spotify or whatever other streaming radio service you currently use? You can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video or in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to hit up todaysiphone.com.